reason number 14 for weight gain and this one is a very big one a lot of people might have this and not realize it but it's having to do with sluggish glands and the three main ones are the liver uh, the adrenal glands or the thyroid and the way to tell that uh, any of these glands are sluggish is first of all the adrenal glands and this, this will give you just a very run-down, overwhelmed feeling, just feeling tired and run-down for no apparent reason. So you haven't really increased your activity or anything, but you just feel burned out, you know. And um, you might um, get a lot of flus or colds or something like this. Um, and another thing is that if you are going from sitting or lying down to standing, and you notice that you feel dizzy or lightheaded a lot when you do this. Um, this could indicate a fluctuation in your blood pressure and that causes the dizzy reaction. Another big one is that you're craving salt. So you're going for pretzels and chips and salty things, salty snacks and such. And this might also contribute to weight gain as well. But the burned out adrenal will give you more symptoms than this that will uh, contribute to that. And in the morning you just feel really terrible. You, you can't really wake up refreshed even though you think you've gotten enough sleep. So you wake up feeling tired every morning. And you usually don't get your energy until after dinner, like after 6 or 7 p.m. is when you start to wake up. And this could also make it hard to go to sleep at night because you have now this burst of energy for unknown reason. Um, you might have, of course, from this uh, troubled sleeping and such, but from adrenal glands, you might have dark circles under your eyes. And um, in addition to having trouble sleeping in these dark circles, you might also not have very peaceful nights of sleep. So you might wake up a lot in the middle of the night. And you might be also moody or irritable, easy to anger, have a, a very short temper. And maybe you haven't had that before, but now you do, and you change your moods quickly and have a roller coaster of emotions uh, that you can't quite figure out why. And another thing is that um, you tend to gain the weight a lot around your belly area. So this is where um, you will tend to collect this uh, fat in the, in the belly region. So that's for adrenal glands. The other one is thyroid. Now this one is a big one for women. They tend to have a sluggish thyroid more than men. And this is uh, very easy to figure out if you have um, weak or brittle nails that break easily. And also if you have dry flaky skin where you haven't had this before. And when you're brushing your hair it tends to fall out a lot. And it's more than usual, more than it used to and maybe your hair is even thinning a bit and a place to check for this is on the outer region of your eyebrows and if you've noticed that the hair there is thinner than it used to be then this could indicate a hypothyroid uh, or sluggish thyroid and you feel disorganized uh, mentally yeah, you are forgetting things and you feel scatterbrained and such and um, Water weight, you tend to um, retain a lot of water, a lot more than you used to, and this could also contribute to gaining some weight that you haven't had before. So usually people might gain up to 20 pounds in over a course of just two years when they have this sluggish thyroid. You are quite tired a lot. Uh, you might feel down a lot, depressed, and you are a low libido as before you haven't and you're sensitive to cold so more so than people around you you tend to get cold quicker and um, in, in occasions where it's not really that cold you might tend to feel cold and for the liver you get a lot of digestion problems so you might get indigestion uh, flatulence and all kinds of upset stomachs from especially fatty foods you might even get bloating and such. You bruise easily, 
that's another trigger of uh, sluggish liver. And um, you might have uh, high cholesterol. So if you've had your blood checked and they have told you that your cholesterol is high, you might want to uh, check to see how your liver is doing as well. And um, another thing is that you can look around your neck and your elbows and knees or your knuckles and see if the skin is a bit discolored so it's a little bit different than the skin in other regions of your hand and such so it's a little bit discolored there if you have a sluggish liver so you might also feel a bit um, disorganized mentally with this one too a little bit uh, hard to remember things and concentrate uh, you feel overall weak maybe dizzy and lightheaded too but a weak feeling is usually with a sluggish liver and you are sleepy during the day, just like with the uh, adrenals. And another thing is, of course, you're going to gain weight. Uh, it's going to be more. You might gain more than 20, 30 pounds. Um, you might be overweight by that much if you have a sluggish liver. Uh, and usually a sluggish liver is something that you've had for quite a while, and you just don't know this. Uh, all these glands, actually, it's quite... Um, you have to be very aware of your body, how it was before and how it is now, and it's a gradual thing that happens. So it's very hard to pay attention to these things when you're working and taking care of children and, you know, doing going about your day. So it's it's not an easy thing to pinpoint if you are not aware of the symptoms, of course. So that's about it. So if you have any of these, of course you want to check with your doctor. Some quick things that you can take for thyroid iodine and kelp and of course doing some exercise like walking uh, adrenals you want to use some ginkgo biloba and ashwagandha astragalus is also another one and meditation and other types of ways to relax is very good for burned out adrenals and for liver milk thistle chicory and dandelion roots turmeric and peppermint are also good and for this one, you also want to practice some relaxation techniques. And of course, with all of these, a little exercise, like a walk is good. But breathing exercises to help you relax and calm down and just de-stress will go a long way as well.